So what I want to talk to you about today is a bit of a, um, a, a, a difficult medicine, but I believe it's medicine, which is that a successful solopreneur requires a stable schedule. It's not what a lot of you want to hear, but let me explain. I know a lot of us here, um, myself included, we consider ourselves spiritual people. We believe in higher guidance, um, whether you want to say it's from God, from your guardian angels, from your spirit guide, from your higher self. We believe that there is the answers are within us, meaning within ourselves and within our connection to the divine. And yet, I have noticed that a lot of people who believe this are deceiving themselves so much they don't obviously realize they're deceiving themselves by listening to a higher guidance that isn't wise enough to understand your need to pay the rent, your need to pay the taxes. That higher guidance doesn't understand that content doesn't create itself, that your services won't sell themselves. The higher guidance might be really good for some things, like it might lead you more into forgiveness, might lead you more into self-compassion, might lead you more into um, kindness towards others, it might lead you into some creativity that, that you, your own mind, might not have. But that higher guidance you might be listening to isn't high enough to understand the pressures of human life and therefore what is required to meet those pressures. Now, I'm not <laughs> saying that your God or your garden angel isn't true. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that there are multiple levels of guidance coming to you and many of us are not listening to the higher levels because the, 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 the higher and most subtle and sublime guidance to us, I believe, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, is usually also the quietest. Why? Because I think the higher the guidance, the more they respect our free will and our sovereignty. And so they don't want to yell at us so much that we can't, we become robots following what we have to do. I want to stop the voices. I have to do this thing. Those voices that are yelling at you and saying, oh, maybe you should knock off for the day and go spend time with your family. Who, who could argue with that, right? That sounds like higher guidance. You know, right now, it's really not the time to be at the computer. You should be in nature. You should be taking a forest walk. Who could argue with that? No one, right? That sounds logical even, right, for mental health and well-being. And, it, and it's spiritual to, to a degree. But it's also not high enough to understand the need for a stable schedule if you want to create a life that you love. I always have loved the quote from one of our higher guides. Um, some of you may believe this is the highest guide. Jesus, right? Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. What is, meaning you will know the, the true prophets by their fruits. Look at their life, in other words, okay? Do they, when he said fruits, mostly it was about love and courage and wisdom and forgiveness and kindness and, uh, you know, that, those kinds of values and, and virtues. But um, in the modern day, if, if Jesus were here, perhaps he would say, you will know them by the kind of life they have created and what kind of goodwill people have they have people have with them meaning have they created a life that they love that is beyond reproach that people admire not envy because that person has sent so much love and care to the people around them that they've dissolved envy but anyway it's like that kind of life I mean, you, you look at your own life. Have you created a life you love? If not, maybe you should be careful about what kind of guidance you're listening to. Guidance not only in terms of what you think you're getting your higher guide, but, you know, um, but, but also the people around you, right? Like, if you haven't created a life you love, 
there, there's a better strategy. And by the way, guidance often speaks through other humans as well. Perhaps me sometimes, some of your guidance might be speaking through me, not just me, I'm not your guru, but it's speaking through anybody you watch, any videos you watch, uh, things you read, people that you're around may tell you certain things that you're like, you know, that's, that's, that's good advice, that's wise. That'll help me create a life that I love, that creates love, stably. And so back to my original point, which is that to create a life you love as a solopreneur, most of us here watching are solopreneurs, well, any kind of profession really, requires a stable schedule. Because to become a successful solopreneur means that you will have become excellent at a couple things. Excellent at your craft, the service that you provide. You become excellent at business because you have to run a business and which includes marketing and your, your systems, how you manage technology in your business and how you manage your, your time and your energy, all that stuff. You have to become excellent at those things to have a stable and, and great income to create a life you love, right? Okay. Well, to have that kind of excellence, which is skillfulness, requires a stable schedule of practice. No expert who is really good at what they do said, yeah, it just kind of happened one day. And no, no, unless you are a genius. Some of you are, are much more of a genius than I am. And you're probably thriving despite ha not having a stable schedule. And But I can't. I'm not that smart. I'm not that good at what I do. I have to keep practicing. I have to keep showing up. My content doesn't create itself. I never feel like starting these videos. Never. Just watch any of my videos. The beginning is always a little rough and I'm just trying to get into it. I'm beginning, I'm faking it till I make it. I'm not faking it in terms of enough. I'm the, the, the desire to serve and the desire to explore is real. But I'm faking wanting to be here in the first couple minutes. Look at every single one of my videos and then, and then I kind of get more into it because I've practiced generating flow. Practice generating flow. That's how we create a life we love. Not being a victim to, oh, I don't feel like it today, or oh, my family needs me. Or, no, of course, spend time with your family. I and mean, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you have to create your own stable schedule if you want a life that you love. So listen to that higher guidance telling you, okay, it's time to keep boundaries with your family or with yourself or with social media or whatever, and practice generating flow once again. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for joining me.